So this is where you need to start right here. This is where the power comes into your house and it's the go-to place if you're thinking about, about buying an RV. Uh, this is probably the most important part of your decision process. And what I'm gonna do is explain to you kind of what I went through um, with uh, getting power to my garage, my EV. Uh, but let's start with talking about the meter right here. I'm gonna bring the camera around so you can see. And I'm fortunate that I have a 400 amp service here at my home, uh, which is a little bit unusual. Most homes are 200 amp, but uh, if you have um, 200 amp, you should be fine. Uh, if you have 100 amp, you may be borderline, but I had plenty of space in my panel and with my power coming into my house that I didn't have to worry about it. Um, here is what you need to look at and you can see all of the breakers that I have in my panel coming into the house. And what I did is right down here, I put a 50 amp breaker in. And I have space for more breakers in here and that's the thing really that you're looking at. You're looking to find out if you have available space to add a breaker. Now I put 50 amp in and that's ideally what you'd like to do is 240 volt uh, wires connected to in the garage. But this is the key right here to your being happy owning an EV or not being happy owning an EV. Uh, you can see I have other 50 amp circuits in here. Um, now I did this myself and I'll talk a little about that, but really the, what you should do, unless you really understand electricity or you're um, confident in what you're doing, working with electricity or doing any sort of installation, you want to make sure that you hire a good um, electrician to do this and particularly somebody who's familiar with putting in EV uh, circuits because they are a little bit different um, as far as the requirements go. Uh, there's a lot of demand with an EV. It pulls a lot of power, a lot of kilowatts and it's important that you um, get somebody who's knowledgeable of that. There are a lot of YouTube videos do a very good job of explaining what's needed to do an install um, I'm the kind of person that likes that sort of thing. I spend a lot of time doing the research. Um, I did all this before I even ordered my EV. I wanted to make sure that I was going to be set up and ready when it did arrive. And I would recommend you do the same thing. It's really important to um, prepare yourself that you just don't go in and buy an EV, then bring it home and say, now what do I do? Uh, the chances of you being satisfied with your purchase really depend upon this right here. This is the thing that you really need to look at carefully. This is something you can go out and do on your own. You don't need to bring an electrician to look at this. You can just open up your panel and see what sort of service you have. Uh, and if you have uh, the capacity with these empty, empty spots right here, then uh, bring in the electrician and make sure that you um, get it installed the way you want it. Positioning your receptacle uh, your charging unit receptacle in the garage is important. You want to think about whether you like to back in the garage or go forward in the garage, where you're going to put that receptacle. Uh, because, And then also plan that uh, maybe you won't have a gas car anymore. I, uh, you know, I have one gas car in the garage and I have one, uh, my EV in the garage. And I, um, we drive the EV just about 99.9% .9 of the time. We just don't use the gas car much anymore. But I wanted to position the receptacle in there, the place that was going to be convenient. So down the road when we get another EV that we can, the cable will reach uh, both sides. And so put some thought into that. Uh, cars come with their, with their uh, charging ports in different locations on the car. Some are left front like mine. Uh, Teslas and a lot of the cars are on the rear driver side. Um, so again, that's the consideration you need to think about when you're installing uh, in the garage. So anyway, I'm gonna take you in the garage and kind of show you what I did and how I got there. And if you are interested in doing your own install, uh, which I don't recommend, but if you are, make sure you spend the time to do it right and that you do all the research to make sure that you're putting the proper components in uh, that are gonna make it safe. You don't wanna do something that's, that's unsafe with your house. So 
Um, and if you're not confident with it, again, I just don't recommend doing it. So I'll take you inside and we'll take a look at what we've done in there. In the garage, you can see I have two cars in here. Uh, there's my Lucid on the right side, and my charging port is right down here on my car towards the front. And up here is my charger. And I bought this um, charge point charger, uh, and I think I got it on Amazon, I believe I did get it on Amazon. It, if you have a cable that came with your car, you don't necessarily need to have that. Um, it just plugs in right here into, into the 240 outlet. And uh, the reason I went ahead and bought this is because the utility here paid for half of it. Uh, that's something you really want to check on because utilities are encouraging people to put uh, charging stations in their car or in their garages and they will actually uh, pay for a good part of the cost of um, some of the equipment, even the installation, some utilities. So it varies, but you can go online and check with your utility and see what they will do. They actually paid for half of that um, uh, charging uh, unit that I have up there, the charge point. And that's the reason I did it. It was too good a deal to pass up. But it's not necessarily needed. You can just plug directly into the 240 outlet that you put on the wall uh, in order to charge your car up. If you, if it came with a cable, and most cars, I think most electric cars do come with a cable, mine did. It, mine actually came with an adapter so I could either charge on 120 or 240. But having a 240 outlet is really key to you being happy with your purchase. And so uh, moving over to an EV is to getting this done before you get too far into the whole thing because you need to have this. I really believe that, at least myself. I believe that this is the necessary part of the puzzle that makes uh, people happy with EVs. So um, I'm going to bring the camera back around again and show you that what I did here is I ran conduit up. And I've got a lot of, sorry, I've got a lot of stuff in the garage here. I ran conduit up over the top of the garage and back down over here to a box. And that is where, where we just were outside the house where the panel comes in. So the conduit runs out to the panel. Um, you need to make sure that you use the proper wire uh, to do this. And it's really important right here on this plug. And I can't really show you close the plug, but the plug is, is critical that you put a industrial club or plug in there and that you don't use a common plug that you would buy at the big box store. Uh, the commercial plug, this is called a Hubble, and I believe it was about $7,500, something like that. But you'll, if you go on YouTube and do some searching on this, you're going to find that there's been problems with people putting cheap plugs in. So don't do it. Uh, put industrial grade uh, parts into this charging system. You don't want to have regrets or problems with that. This is... Um, see this right here that's the connector and this is called a J1772 connector that's what plugs into the car and that is in AC voltage the voltage that comes in your house is is AC and the car runs on DC voltage so what happens is the receptacle uh, brings the power in and delivers it to your car in AC uh, current and then there's a converter in the car that converts it to DC. So this supplies AC power, the car accepts the AC power and then it converts it into DC power for the batteries. Uh, when you go to a DC fast charging station you're, you're going directly from DC power to DC power. So that's why you can charge so much faster because the conversion is done prior to, to, the, uh, to the charge unit that you plug into it at a charging station, a DC fast charging station. So this is delivering AC power. It does it at about nine kilowatts an, an hour, which um, takes from, let's say I was down to 20% range and I charged up to 80% uh, would take um, 
at nine kilowatts we're, on my car, we're probably looking about six or seven hours to do that. But when you come home, you just plug in and go in the house and go about your life, and then you come back out and you have a fully charged car. Just imagine if you driving an, a, a gas car, if you could have a gas station in your garage. I mean, that's kind of what this is like, is that you have your own power for your car. You're filling up your car without going to the gas station. It's just, it really is awesome and you get spoiled with it. Um, it's just so easy. It is so easy. So anyway, I hope this really helped you out and uh, get yourself a really good electrician and make sure they understand what they need to put in for the power needs of a car and how much it draws. And um, be careful with it. Make sure it's done right. And uh, I think that you'll have a really great experience. The next video I'm gonna do is on DC fast charging. So we're gonna actually, on the next video, go to a charging station. I'll kind of show you what's involved with doing that um, and what I recommend. There's a lot of things I recommend that you do before you get, get a car. And I think just getting yourself a little bit uh, educated on some of the things, the nuances of having an electric car will make, make you a much happier owner down the road. So, hey, thank you very much for watching, much for watching and I hope that uh, you liked the video. I hope you'll give it a thumbs up, and I hope that you will uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, my last video I did on uh, whether it was a mistake to buy an EV, uh, mistake to buy an EV. Uh, the video I did just uh, blew up on the on YouTube and has done really well. That's what inspired me to to uh, produce this one and and more videos. When you like the videos, that helps helps me and uh, inspires me to do more. So thank you for your support and uh, stay tuned for the next update. Thank you.